Hey guys, how y'all doing? I'm here to give you guys a recap on the new episode of Dragon Ball Super, which is on episode 40. Now, this episode is just a follow-up of, like, the conclusion of the tournament here and there, and it seems like, um, the ending is pretty surprising, though I don't really have much to really talk about, honestly. I'm just a recapper for now, so if anything else, um, let's get started. Okay, at the beginning of the episode, it does start off with its recap where Goku did, like, la did launch a Kyle Ken Super Saiyan Blue... Kamehameha attack times 10, whatever you want to call it, and apparently Hit managed to avoid that somehow, because apparently he says, because of you, I managed to improve my time leap a little bit further, and he managed to get out get out of it right in the nick of time. But when like um, Hit and Goku went all out again once more, Hit managed to freeze time and, and smack him really hard right in the stomachs multiple times, and apparently Goku looks like he was finished, but not for long. He powers back up and hits... And punches hit right in the face, and they are both like I'm tired out right now. Goku, on the other hand, wants to change the rules because he knows that Hit is not really using his full power at all, and he wants to see Hit use his killing style or killing moves, you know. And therefore, we have to it that Hit is actually surprised that Goku is not afraid to die or something, you know. But apparently, Champa agrees. Were willing to comply, but Beerus, on the other hand, does not want to, and things kind of gone a little hectic here and there. Not to mention about what's been happening, you know. And to make things worse, you know, Goku, on the other hand, on the other hand, decides to go out of bounds, and because of that, it kind of made Monica as the next opponent, which we figured out that he is weak, apparently, which is really, really disappointing and disgusting. What the hell? <laughs> But the only reason why like um, Goku went out of bounds is because his Kaioken is really up is lit, is already his time is about to be up soon and not to mention it's about to be very troubling. And therefore Monica faces up against Hit, but apparently what makes it ugly apparently is that Monica did mess up and he takes a punch to Hit, but Hit decides to lose on purpose apparently because he wants to be even with Goku. And Champa was about to get really furious and kill everybody. And Beerus and Champa end up being afraid of one person, and that person at the end of the episode is known to be the king of everything. So I just go like, who is this guy? Why is he the king of everything? Yada yada yada, that kind of thing. So all I can give you guys right now is just like um, Goku versus Hit, and the battle is concluded. You know, Goku goes out of bounds. Hit's power improved a lot, or timely improves a lot, and we don't really get to know the full extent of Hit's power. That's all I can say. So. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, that's another thing. Chopper was about to go crazy, but a person shows up at the end, and that's the king of everything. I don't know, but that's how what it is. What it is. This is just a small recap, you know. I don't think there's much, nothing much I can really talk about in the episode, except maybe a little bit of how Hit's power grew, and Goku wanted to change the rules and so forth. But yeah, until then, I'll see you guys in my next video. So I'm Alpha Zero. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Bye bye. Two to do.